Hello everyone, Assalamu alaikum. Welcome back to Dr. Teeth. I am Dr. Hina, your host, and today we are going to learn about the anatomy of the maxillary sinus. Now, the maxillary sinus, it is a very important topic, so we are going to cover this in detail and as simply as possible because on Dr. Teeth, I love to simplify concepts. So, if you like the video, don't forget to subscribe and also give this video a thumbs up because it really motivates me to create more videos of this kind. So let's begin. Now what I'm going to do, I am going to bring something for you here. So here we have it. Now if you can make out from my drawing skill, this is our nose, this is the eye, okay. Now what is this structure here? This is the maxillary sinus. So let us understand first what is sinus, okay? And then we'll see what are paranasal sinus. And then we will talk about this specific sinus that is the maxillary sinus in detail. So, okay, so what all we have to know? We have to know what is a sinus, okay? So sinus is any cavity, okay? Any cavity or any space, you know, any, you can imagine a space here, that is a sinus. And now, what is paranasal sinus? What is paranasal? What if I am adding this word paranasal to this? So, para means around, okay? And nasal means nose. So, the sinuses which are around this nose, that are the paranasal sinuses, okay? Now, we know what is a sinus. What are paranasal sinuses? Now we have to know how many sinuses are around the nose, okay? Means how many paranasal sinuses do we have? So there are four types of paranasal sinuses. Few are paired, few are single, okay? We'll be seeing them in a while. So what I'm going to do, I'm quickly going to erase all this. And then I'm going to mention all the names. So we have the frontal sinus, we have the ethmoid sinus, we have the sphenoid sinus and we have the maxillary sinus. So these are the four sinuses that are present around the nose. Okay, so where is the frontal sinus as the name suggests, let me change the color, they are in the frontal bone, okay, they are triangular shaped okay and they are in the frontal bone one on each side of the midline if i can draw a midline properly so this is a frontal sinus that is in the head okay then we have the ethmoid sinus now ethmoid sinus they are in between the two eyes okay somewhere here we will be having the ethmoid sinus okay we have three of them anterior middle and posterior okay so they are in between the eyes medial to the eyes you can say and then we have the maxillary sinus so these are also two in number one will be here and one will be here okay and they are present lateral to the nose okay so we have learned the frontal the ethmoid the maxillary one thing that is left is the sphenoid now from this view we would be unable to see the sphenoid. Why? Because, you know, it's kind of in the sphenoid bone. If you remember the anatomy, the sphenoid bone is little posterior, right? Posterior to, you know, this area, this. So, to visualize, it will be difficult from this side. So, I am going to switch to another side. Okay, so here we have our lateral profile, okay? We are seeing the skull from the lateral side, okay? So here we can appreciate this one is the maxillary sinus, all right? And somewhere here we have the frontal sinus and somewhere here we will be having, I always forget to change color, I'm sorry for that. To differentiate it, we need to have different colors, okay? So this is the ethmoid sinus, okay? And somewhere here, we have our sphenoid bone, okay? We have our sphenoid bone. Don't go with my drawing. You can relate, okay? This is just a diagrammatic representation to help you understand. So here we have the sphenoid bone, all right? And in that, we have a sinus 
means we have a space and that is the sphenoid sinus okay so from this side it will be clear the ethmoid sinus they are of three types so if i can write here i will be writing yes so we have the anterior the middle and the posterior okay now that we have a brief idea about the paranasal sinuses we are going to talk about the functions of the sinus what do they do so the functions of the sinuses are they reduce the weight of the skull why because they are air filled spaces there are cavity that is why they reduce the weight of the skull that is the function number 1 now when we take in air they also help in humidification of that air and they also provide warmth to that air okay so humidification and warming of the inspired air the secretions from these sinuses they filter out the air so we have air filtration they also help in pressure damping they can absorb any kind of shock that the person might experience they provide vocal resonance they help in olfactory function so these are the major functions of the sinuses they reduce the weight of the skull they humidify and give warmth to the inspired air they filter the air they help in pressure damping shock absorption provide vocal resonance and also help in the olfactory function now we know the functions of the sinuses right now let us quickly have a look at the connections of these sinuses with the nose okay how are they connected to the nose there is a connection between our nose and these sinuses means there are channels there are openings through which these connect and the drainage and the secretions you know they are connected so let us have a look at that okay so here we have it now first of all here let us label all these things okay so this is the frontal sinus and here we have the ethmoid sinus this one is the maxillary sinus now since this is the front view we are not able to see the sphenoid sinus so this is the eye i think now it must be clear this is the eye this is the nose area okay so this is the maxillary sinus this is the frontal sinus and this is the ethmoid sinus now what are these structures these are the concha okay this is the superior nasal concha this is the middle nasal concha and this is the inferior nasal concha okay and behind these concha we have the meatus so we have the superior meatus middle meatus and inferior meatus same here superior middle inferior now here we can see we have opening in the maxillary sinus and where is this opening this is in the middle meatus so the maxillary sinus it drains into the middle meatus we have something which is called as osteomeatal complex okay now osteomeatal complex is that area where the maxillary sinus frontal sinus ethmoid sinus they drain okay all of them they drain in the osteomeatal complex and to visualize that we will be having a look at it through another diagram okay so let's bring that in so here we have the maxillary sinus here we have the frontal sinus these are the ethmoid sinus and this pink thing this is the osteomeatal complex so as you can see here the maxillary sinus is draining here okay the frontal sinus is also draining here then also the ethmoid sinus is draining here so this is the osteomeatal complex and it is important because the maxillary frontal ethmoid ethmoid sinus they drain here and it lies in the middle meatus we had seen in the previous diagram right that the maxillary sinus was draining in the middle meatus so this osteomeatal complex is in the middle meatus only okay now what about this sphenoid sinus we are not able to see it here and also this ethmoid sinus have various parts right anterior posterior and all that so what about that so just a quick information let us suppose this is the sphenoid sinus okay 
So the sphenoid sinus they drain into the superior meatus. Remember superior meatus in the previous diagram. Let me show it again to you. Okay. So here we have it. This was the superior meatus, middle meatus, and inferior meatus. So in the superior meatus, the sphenoid sinus will drain, and also the posterior ethmoidal sinus it will drain here. So remember that superior one is for the sphenoid, and also the posterior ethmoid. Right. So I guess we have learned enough about the paranasal sinus. Now, if this video is above ten minutes, I would split it into two parts. But if it is less than ten minutes, I'm going to, you know, take the maxillary sinus together with this. So, if you found the video helpful till now, please let me know in the comment section below. Your likes will really motivate me to create more videos of this kind. My only aim is to help the students. in the easiest way possible and that's what i have been doing on this platform dr teeth since 3 years it's been long time so i hope that i am able to continue this forever till my last breath okay enough blabbering let us continue with the next thing that is the maxillary sinus which is very important okay so let's begin with that